Britain has decided to channel all funds meant for primary school education through NGOs by passing the government, whose record it says lay in tatters. Sijo Rose states that the move surprises many within Kenya since many of the NGOs do not fare any better than the government itself when it comes to handling the grants. This is Rose Ngoi, a citizen journalist from Kenya, reporting on Instablogs. As if this would provide any reprieve to school-going children who benefit from free primary funds, Britain yesterday said that it will channel the earlier withdrawn funds through NGOs, sidestepping the government whose record on handling grants is totally tattered. But this caught most of us by surprise, going by the reputation that is the Kenyan NGOs. The NGOs are not any better, and I hope the British government is not too naive to know this, unless it is voluntarily giving a blind eye and a deaf ear to the endless complaints that characterize the management of NGOs in this country. HIV and its funds could be the best example ever. The government and the NGOs have conspired in several occasions in embezzling. It is such an unfortunate situation that even as open as things are, still the country's education minister Sam Ongeri seems to be reading from a different script altogether. He still insists that the funds were used properly and no money has been misappropriated. This depicts the impunity level that the country has achieved. If you want your voice to be heard by millions, let InstaBlogs be your choice. You can contact us at cj at instablogs.com.